October is here, so no need to fear. We hope you'll smile from ear to ear. We will see you every day. Please subscribe and head our way. October will mean a lot for you each day. I'm Jackie. And I'm Jacqueline. All right, you guys, today we are making easy beans. Yes, <laughs> our easy beans. Mom makes the best beans, you guys. They're well, amazing. It's not, yeah, it's not really hard, you guys. It's so easy. Yeah, it's super um, simple. You know, I did, I did for a while, I was soaking the beans, not soaking the beans, but you know, making a big pot of dried beans. And I think this tastes just as good, you guys. So. Today I'm making some beans, and we're just gonna keep it for the week to make burritos and different things. This is on a medium heat, and I'm using, instead of oil, I'm putting bacon fat. Because we save, and here you guys, I save bacon fat and use it for all sorts of things. So I just scoop some out, and I know it looks like a lot, but I'm gonna do some garlic and onion first, and then put the beans, and you kinda need like a lot of oil so you could start smashing and stuff. So as mom said, we used to boil beans, you know, dried pinto beans. Right. Before, but now we just use a can of pinto beans that's already cooked. That's right. And we think it tastes the same, if not better. And it's much faster to make them. Oh, for sure. Because you don't have to wait hours to boil yeah. your dry beans. And I love, you guys, uh, Sun Vista pinto beans. You could use different ones. There was that one brand I did not like, and I can't remember what it was. Yeah, I can't remember either. I'm also using already minced garlic. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys, I'm not a cook. See, it's easy yeah, I'm not. I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not a professional chef, so yeah. <laughs> Uh, these are real onions, so. Yes, these are real. She did chop <laughs> the onions. <laughs> I did just chop those. So I'm gonna wait till this melts, you guys. I'm gonna cook the onion, wait till they're kind of translucent, then add the chopped garlic. Okay, I'm gonna put the onions in, nice and hot. We love bean and cheese burritos, you guys. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little. Even if we're doing like burritos, like one night for dinner. Then we'll use these beans for that or just as a side dish for whatever. Yeah, or if we make tostadas, you put beans on a tostada. Yeah, yeah, or just as a side, we'll just put beans in a bowl with cheese on top. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When I was little, my mom used to always save bacon grease for different things. Some people, I think, leave it on the counter, their bacon grease. Mm -hmm. Like in those ceramic like uh, yeah, containers. Yeah, I think so, huh? But I always leave ours in the fridge, you guys. And it lasts for a while, you know, because it's just fat, so. I really need some new pots and pans, you guys. These are so old, and uh, I love nonstick. I know people do not like nonstick because they say, oh, it, you know, stuff leaches out of them, but now they are making them a lot safer. Mm -hmm. Of course, these are old. So these so, are probably so the- So they're not safe. They're probably the unsafe. <gasps> no, I'm just saying they're probably the unsafe ones. No. But uh, you guys, my Nana always used stainless steel pans. I just can't do it. I can't. I try and try, but it, it too much stuff sticks to them. Yeah. So I just like, uh, I still like the non-stick. Yeah, but let us know if you have a favorite brand of uh, non-stick. Yes, because I am I, I am looking. I'm keeping an eye out, especially for sales, because mm -hmm. I need a whole set, and it's so expensive, you guys. Right. Oh my gosh. Ooh, it really is, yeah. Yeah, this smells so good. <gasps> it smells so good. Mm -hmm. I know, I, I feel like the, uh, I feel like the bacon fat adds like a nice flavor to the whole pot of beans. It does, it does, you guys, yeah. Yeah, like you could, you could definitely taste it. And I'm gonna get some salt and pepper too. Okay, you guys, I get the, the onions super, super soft because when I mash them, I kind of like to be able to, you know, really mash them good. <laughs> and I'm gonna use probably a little bit more garlic, so probably like a teaspoon, because you know, this is a big can of beans. I do think that fresh garlic probably does taste a little bit better, mm -hmm. but you know. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna mix it for another minute, you guys, and then I'm gonna put the whole can of beans in here, liquid and everything. Bring it to a boil, and you know, I'll let it boil for like a minute or so, and then I'm gonna start mashing. And it does look really liquidy, like you're gonna think, oh, it's never gonna, you know, cook that, down. it's never gonna cook down, mm -hmm. but it does. Like, just keep letting it boil, boil, mash, mash, and then just keep watching it and let it boil and without the lid, and it will start getting thicker. I mean, or you guys could eat it watery, you know, more watery if you like it like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, some people, or even some people like their beans more thick. So you That's could true. take out some water if you want to. That's true. That's true. Up to you. All right, you guys, here it goes. Woo! Yeah! 
These look like barbecue beans. They do, huh? I can assure you they're not. Just plain old pinto beans. Yeah, they look tan on the can, yeah. but a little rain day. <laughs> I turned up the heat a little, you guys, to get this a boiling. In our opinion, when this cooks down, it's the perfect consistency. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little salt. You know, as much as you guys want. Yeah, to your liking. Yeah. I, we like pepper in ours, you guys. You don't have to put pepper, of course. You can put anything. Garlic powder, onion powder. I like the pepper. Okay, the beans have come to a boil, and now we get our mashed potato masher, and we use that to mash the beans. I mean, it's really not a mashed potato masher. You can use it for anything. Right, right. So yeah, and we found this one with, if you saw, uh, smaller holes. It's not like those other uh, mashers where yeah, it's like a- uh, the holes. Hey, see the little <laughs> holes in there? I know. Because we have another masher that's just like the squiggly line. Yeah. That's, that really is for mashed potatoes, that one. Um, and that one we have tried to use, but it doesn't right. mash the beans up fine enough. Exactly. So we found this one with smaller holes, and it gets it really good. I do have to scrape them off, you guys, every now and then, because they do stick. Mm -hmm. You know, then just get back to mashing. Yep. This part does take a while. I guess it depends how mashed you like your beans. We like mm -hmm. our beans very mashed. We really don't like to see whole beans in our refried beans. Right, I know some people do leave mm -hmm. some whole beans. Yeah. But. Well, I mean, you might miss a few, but but the majority I try to find you guys because we don't like the stray ones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> you could kind of tell now the bean mixture is solidifying. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's getting creamy looking. Yes, it's right getting already. creamier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> that was a cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 it's getting a little thicker. Yeah, and as I said, you guys, um, after I mash them all, and I just keep doing this seriously, I do this like for quite a few minutes because I really try to get them all. Then just, after you mash them, just let it go like this, just boiling until you like get it to your you know desired consistency. All right, you guys, so this is kind of the consistency we like. We See how creamy they got? We like our beans runny. So this is how we like them, nice and creamy like this. So that's it, you guys. That's our simple, easy bean recipe. And you know, also, when you're doing the onion, you could also add like some chopped up, really fine um, jalapeno. Mm -hmm. That's good to you guys, but I have a uh, sensitivity to jalapeno and I did not want to cook it and Jerry was outside doing yard work so I didn't want to have to cut it myself. I could have put gloves on, huh? Oh yeah, Big that's more work. <laughs> and also what we've done before is chop up bacon really fine. So I'm just gonna cover this, you guys, till we're ready uh, to eat later. And I don't know, we might do, um, I have a pack of pre-made chili verde meat. Uh, that's really good. We might do that like with burritos, so we'll see. All right, so thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and give this video a beans up, you guys. Beans up. <laughs> a thumbs up, you guys, and we will see you in our next video. Love ya. Bye, everybody.